gospel of today is according to <clears throat> Saint Saint Matthew chapter 12 verses 1 to 13 inclusive it's Matthew chapter 12 verses 1 to 13 the Lord Jesus is talking about something of great importance for someone who wishes to live a Christian life for someone who wishes to follow in the footprints of the Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's a very profound message. It's a very pivotal point in the life of a Christian. And that pivotal point and that profound message is one word which the Lord is trying to send across and get everyone to come to this realization. To try and live this word not just say it but live it and that word in the gospel of today is all about one thing mercy mercy it's a very small word in size but extremely deep in meaning very small word in size but very deep in meaning mercy M E R C Y and I pray to the Lord that I've spelled it correctly. M-E-R-C-Y. You see why? You need to see why in order to see mercy. The Lord Jesus was approached or the more, more specifically the disciples of the Lord Jesus were sort of reprimanded by the Pharisees of the time. Now, the Israelite nation was made out of three main groups, the priests, the scribes, and the Pharisees. These were the Israelite nation. This, these groups, they believed in the divine God, in the true God, in Yahweh, in the true God. And to them, especially the Pharisees. The Pharisees were a group of people that everything to them had to go through a big microscope. Everything had to be um, checked, double checked and fine tuning and fine tuned. For everything to them was the law. Without the law and outside the law is a no zone. Pharisees were literal when it came to the law and that's where the danger is that's where the danger is when you take the law of God in the literal sense because let us not forget if you only hold on to the law and the law only definitely in the law there is no mercy imagine I'm speeding and I'm doing a hundred, hundred kilometers in a 60 zone. And the police officer is pointing that radar at my vehicle doing a hundred Ks in a 60 zone. He pulls me over and he said, you've been speeding. You are in breach of the law. Therefore, I have to issue you a fine, a ticket. I plead with the officer, please just let it go this time. I was whatever the officer says everything is being recorded this camera here is recording everything and it's going to the head office I can't just falsify what the computer says and what the camera is actually capturing you have broken the law the law will break you here's a ticket you've lost three points and a couple of hundred dollar fine see you later don't speed again there is no mercy in law so the Pharisees came to the Lord Jesus saying if you're a teacher you should have taught your disciples better they should have known better on a Sabbath they plugged they plugged grains and they ate them this is classified as doing work on a Sabbath you cannot do any work according to the law of the Old Testament and specifically to the Pharisees. Very literal. 
So on a Sabbath, you cannot work. You need to sanctify Sabbath. This is for God. This day is for God. You go and worship Him. You drop everything and you dedicate this day for God and God only. How dare they, your disciples, breach it. They broke the Sabbath and breach of this law. What kind of a teacher are you? Teach them not to do it again. The Lord said, haven't you read what King David did and those who were with him? He entered the house of God and he ate the showbread, which he was not entitled to eat for it is only for the priests. Why don't you say anything about King David? He broke the law. If you want to be fair, you need to be fair with everyone across the board. Don't pick and choose. Do not be selective in your choices. If you're talking about the law, then the law applies to David as well. Why are you coming and picking on me now? Because you don't have anything else better to do. You can't find any fault in Jesus Christ. That's why it's getting on your nerves.